In this video, we will try to solve another question that was asked by a brother on Econ Maths Telegram channel. The question is like this: There are two major producers in the market. Suppose that uh, suppose the inverse demand function is given by P is equal to 160 minus 4Q, where P is the price and Q is the industry output. Okay. And marginal cost uh, of both the firms is zero. We have to find out the Carnot uh, reaction function of firm one. The options are given us here, and we have to see which of these options is correct. Okay. So what we are being given here? Let me write it here. We are being given the industry uh, uh, demand is given by 160 minus 4Q. Okay. Since there are only two firms, that means this Q should be equal to Q1. Plus Q to that means total output produced by the two firms is equal to Q. Okay, so output produced by each firm is Q1. Sorry, by firm one is Q1 and by firm two is Q2. Okay, and we know in the Carnot uh, model I have explained it in clear details uh, about Carnot duopoly uh, model. Uh, what are the assumptions and how do we find the reaction function? So I will just try to solve this here. Okay, this is our market demand function okay to find the uh, reaction function of firm 1 how do we find the reaction function let me write it here reaction function for firm firm 1 is being found by first we need to find the total uh, revenue for firm 1 is equal to price into quantity produced by Firm one, okay. So what is price? Price is one sixty minus four uh, in place of Q. We have Q one plus Q two. Let me write it here like this. Q two, okay. This is our inverse demand function. P is equal to this very thing. So uh, to this we have to multiply Q one, okay. This will give us the total revenue. And if we solve it further, this comes out to be one sixty minus four Q one. Minus 4Q2, and to this we multiply Q1, which comes out to be 160Q1. This Q1 is multiplied to each of these terms. Then we have 4Q1 square minus 4Q1 Q2. That means this Q1 is multiplied to each of these terms. This is our total revenue for firm one. And what is the marginal revenue? Marginal revenue is simply the derivative of total revenue function with respect to Q1. That means Q1. So derivative of Q1 is 1. So we are left with 160 minus derivative of Q1 square comes out to be 2Q1. So 2 into 4 is 8Q1. Okay, and this exponent is subtracted by 1. I have explained it uh, so many times how to find the derivative. So I will not explain it here further. Minus derivative of Q1 is 1. So we are left with 4Q. Two okay. This is our marginal revenue. What is our marginal cost? Marginal cost for firm. Since marginal cost for four the firm is the same, so marginal cost for firm one is also same. That is zero. Okay. Now for profit uh, maximization, we require that marginal revenue for firm one should be equal to its marginal cost. This is our marginal revenue. So let me write it here. This is our marginal revenue, 160 minus 8Q1 minus 4Q2 should be equal to zero because marginal cost is zero. Now solving for Q1, if we transpose this 8Q1, so this will become 8Q1 is equal to 160 uh, minus 4Q2. Uh, I just uh, transpose this term here. It became positive, and these uh, other terms are left. Uh, As they are okay, so Q1 is equal to if we transpose this 8, uh, it will get divided to each of these terms. This becomes 160 upon 8 minus 4 upon 8 Q2. That means Q1 is equal to this is 8 ones are 8 twos are 60. This is 20 minus uh, this is 1 upon 2 Q2, and this comes out to be Q1 is equal to 20 minus 0.5. Q2 and this is called the reaction function and what does this reaction function tell us? This is the reaction function. Uh, reaction function for firm one, okay, firm one. We also call it best 
response function okay best reply function or best uh, response function it, this simply says this very function tells us optimal uh, what you call optimal quantity uh, firm one should produce given uh, firm two is producing q2 okay so if this q2 changes uh, the optimal quantity chosen by uh, firm one will also change or we say it in other words there best response for firm one in terms of uh, the output level decided by firm two okay if firm two changes this q2 firm one will change this q1 accordingly okay because q1 is a function of q2 okay so we i can write it like this uh, best best response best response for firm one firm one in terms of in terms of output output level decided by decided by firm two okay so uh, the answer uh, to this question should come out to be so is it here q square so let me see it if i have done any mistake in finding the answer so i don't think any of the option is correct because it is q square it should have been like q subscript 2 also if it is q subscript 2 uh, then this option should be correct okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you